with Neil Anderson, and we're gonna talk about the best CCN track. So he will provide us his thoughts uh, which one is really the best enterprise security data centers and many more. So you are the most popular CNA instructor in the world. Okay. Now, for your students who already pass and currently prepared, what do you think is the best CCN track? So we have we have multiple options. We have data center security and price collaboration today or in the next few years. What would be the most in demand CCN track. Okay, well, the most in demand, and what I would recommend doing next, maybe two different things. The most in demand is probably security right now. I would yeah. guess it's pretty hot. Yeah, you not think so? I specialize in security, of course. Yeah. And Cisco also has many security products, uh, not just VPNs and next generation firewalls. We have uh, malware protection, uh, identity access management, but uh, even in security. And yeah. So for in demand, yeah, probably security, also data center. I think it'd be up there as well. Less in demand would be probably service provider and collaboration. Um, if you were going to do service, if you were working for a service provider, and that's your actual job role right now, then of course, that's the only option. Yes, you definitely want to do that. If you're not working for a service provider, you're looking to further your career, then probably HQA data center would be good. But like I was saying at the start, that's not why I would recommend you do first after the CCM. Definitely. After doing your CCNA, the logical thing to do next is the CCNP enterprise. And the reason for that is there's so much overlap between the CCNA and the CCNP enterprise that you already know about 80% of what you're going to get. Yeah, in that it's exam. a little more advanced. Yeah, a little more to advanced. CCNA. Yeah. It's especially the Encore exam. Yeah. Minimal BGP, minimal BIGRP. At least if I refer to the course material. Yeah. Yeah. So it just it makes sense to do that next because if you look at from an employer's point of view, they see CCMP as being a level above CCMP. Yes. It's, it's better for your employment prospects, of course. So if you've got the CCMP on top of your CCNA, it's better for your career and it's really not a lot of extra work to do it after you've done the CCNA. The CCNA, if, if you're new to networking, of course there's a huge amount of information in there, it's, it's going to take time, it's a lot of work to get your CCNA. To get the CCMP enterprise, it's really just a top up, a small top up on top of what you've already done for your CCNA. And it makes sense to do it immediately after the CCNA because the information is still fresh in your head. You don't have to, if you wait five years to do it, then you'll have forgotten a lot of stuff a lot. and you'll have to oh, learn it all over yeah. again. So you see if you haven't even learned it all over again, just pop up to the CCNP enterprise. All right. So do you recommend to get or to look for the two CCNPs? Enterprise and security, for example. Well, of the more certifications you've got, the better, of course. The the way that the IT employment industry works is that employers are looking for certifications. I some people sometimes get frustrated with this. They might think, well, I, I've got the experience, why do I need to have a piece of paper? But the thing is, if you're an employer, when you're hiring, you have to set criteria for who's going to get an interview or not. And the easiest way to determine that criteria is just based on certifications. If you're, if you're hiring and um, you advertise that position, you'll maybe get 100 resumes coming in. You don't have time to go and read through every resume and be interested in somebody's life story. You just want, okay, who's going to get an interview? So you'll have fixed criteria for that. And it's going to come down to certifications. Do they have a certification or not? If they do have a certification, 
then you'll look a little bit further into the resume, you then to start checking your experience as well, and then decide to leave it here. First, it doesn't have the, the, the certification that the suit criteria for interview, then your resume goes and you rejected them. And you know, maybe that, that can be frustrated if you do not have the experience, but that's just the way that the world works. So definitely the more certifications you can get, the more job opportunities are going to be open. Yeah, so go for more certifications. Same yes. All right, good.